Hey DJ, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me today um, and requesting this custom video. So today I'm going to show you a few tips that you guys can apply right away to um, increase your online presence and get more organic leads coming in. So um, one important thing to note is that 70% of all of your organic leads come from your website. So it is very important that your website be fully optimized in order to get those leads. Now, as you can see, we're on your website. You have a nice looking website, awesome logo. Um, it looks like you have a separate page for each of your services, which is perfect. That's exactly what you need. Um, Let's see, it looks like um, the start to try and use keywords. Um, with keywords, there has to be some repetition to be picked up. We've got a little bit of content. Looks like some interlinking between pages, which is great. You need that. And that's about it. Um, service area. You know, pressure and surrounding area. So I'm not, I'm not sure how large your service area is, but um, if you're servicing areas outside of King of Prussia, you're going to want to have a separate page for each of those service areas that has any type of keyword volume so that you can be found for your services in those areas. Google, unfortunately, does not rank your website based on appearance. They have robots called crawlers that go and index all of your pages, pulling out content so that they can find the, your keywords to rank you for them and put you in front of their your customers when they do those searches. So your homepage needs to have a minimum of 1,000 to 1,500 words of content, which breaks down to 150 words for every word you're trying to target. And your content needs to be focused around your local buyer intent keywords. Those are the keywords that people are actively searching in Google for the services that you're offering. Um, they may not know the name of your company, but they know the service that they need. And in an emergency situation, they're probably not going to care what the name of your company is. So it's very important that you're using the right type of keywords so that you can grab those customers. Um, one of your top competitors is Aftercare Restoration. Um, they've got a good looking site as well. Um, they've got separate pages for each page, um, or each service that they have. And they've got separate pages for each of their service areas. So, um, if you're if you do work outside of your area, you're going to need these additional pages as well. Um, these guys really have a ton of content. Um, it looks like they have more keyword usage. but you can see they have a ton of content. So you need to actually have more content than your top competitors. And these guys have more than 1500 words. So you're going to have to have more. You want a couple hundred words, at least more than your top competitors. And you want to focus on those buyer intent keywords. And that's not just for your homepage. That's going to be all your back pages, your service pages and service area pages. You need to work on those keywords for those services in those service areas um, and build your content around them. 
This is a program called AREFS. It helps us to analyze how your website is performing. As you can see here, you have a rating of a zero out of 100 in Google's trust flow, and that is 100% because of your backlinks and referring domains. You just really don't have any. Um, but not all backlinks are created equal, so you do need to make sure that you're going out and getting a lot of backlinks. You need a lot, you need a lot more than your top competitors, um, but you also need better quality than your top competitors because not all backlinks are created equal. So you need to be getting only the authoritative um, do follow backlinks that are directly related to your industry and services. Because you don't have a whole lot of content, um, you're only being indexed for 12 keywords and you're getting zero people on average to your website per month. Now, when we look at your competitor, Aftercare, they also have a poor domain rating, um, and yet they have 71 backlinks. So what that tells you is that not all of these backlinks are good backlinks. Um, it looks like they have a lot of spammy or no-follow backlinks. So. Not only do you need more backlinks, but you need higher quality backlinks to outrank these guys. Um, and it also looks like all of their backlinks are being pushed to their homepage, um, which could help their homepage to rank, but it's not helping to be found for those services and in their service areas. Those backlinks need to be spread out and, and go to the appropriate places. Um, they are indexed for over 350 words and they're getting 128 people to their website per month. Um, so they're kind of missing the boat here too. There's thousands of traffic in Pennsylvania. Um, so you're definitely going to need to uh, work on the content and the keywords and then placing your backlinks appropriately. Now what a backlink is, is one, one website links to your website and then drives traffic to your website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. The more relevant this website is to your services, the more authority it's going to give you. And if they are do follows, they will also share their power with you and help you to rank faster. And then these need to be tied to your keywords so that you can rank for those keywords and be found for those services in each service area. And last is this Google Maps section or Google My Business. Your goal should be in the top three of this section for each of your service areas and your relative keywords because 30% of people come directly to the maps and won't go any further. So um, in order to be in the top three, there's many factors, but the most important are citations, which is the name of your business, address, and phone number, and having those listed in a bunch of places like Dex, Yellow Pages, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. And you need a lot more of those than your top competitors. And when you follow each of these tips I provided you today, your website can be number one across Google for all of your keywords and service area keywords. Now this video is intended to be purely educational, so we would love your feedback to let us know if you're getting any value out of this video. But if you do actually need help getting this stuff done, go ahead and give us a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.